Hey guys, Bridget here. And this morning uh, when I opened up Figma, I noticed that uh, the AI tools are back. Uh, so let's see how it goes this time. These new AI tools are going to be present uh, right here at the very bottom. And uh, as you can see, there's going to be this uh, new option, first draft, uh, as well as some other design tools such as add interactions, rename layers, search with image or selection, replace content and uh, even writing uh, and image editing options. So overall, we're going to focus on the first draft, which is the feature that uh, we've all been waiting for. And that is uh, going to answer the question, uh, is uh, Figma able to create uh, AI designs from scratch uh, without a designer? And uh, we're going to simply focus on uh, uh, as you can see, we have a few different libraries, uh, basic app, uh, app wireframe, basic site or site wireframe. I'm going to jump uh, right into the basic site uh, and I'm going to write a landing page for, or actually page for an AI chatbot company. And uh, I'm simply going to keep it very vague and uh, just generic uh, for this first try. So let's see what uh, Figma comes up with. And uh, as you can see, it's already creating some uh, uh, interesting layouts. Let's see what uh, is going to come up with. I'm assuming that uh, there's going to be some AI imagery which uh, is going to be created uh, right at this moment. And uh, wow, this is interesting actually. Uh, this is actually better than uh, what you see at the moment. For some reason, there is this weird layout, uh, which is uh, uh, kind of like right, but center aligned. We're gonna give it a pass. We can easily adjust that. Uh, and, uh, or actually it's creating uh, a few different uh, uh, images as well on the left side. So yeah, I guess there's going to be some, uh, some logic there, but Overall, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely better than what we saw previously and uh, also better than what I saw in uh, any other AI design uh, generator so far. Obviously, I'm not uh, going to just say this is replacing designers altogether. And uh, it's definitely far from being uh, what we, you would accept uh, as production ready quality, but um, the way that I'm seeing it, it's uh, starting to get interesting in terms of uh, creating ideas. So my assumption is uh, if I actually go in ChatGPT and create uh, a better prompt, uh, there's going to be some uh, even higher level of details that we can expect over here. So I'm not going to wait uh, for it to basically adjust uh, altogether. Uh, I'm going to simply go over here and uh, I'm going to test. Uh, oh, actually, this is, this is interesting. We're seeing that we can change uh, the color palette uh, and also the typeface right here in one click. So, okay, this, this is actually quite interesting. Um, yeah, okay, okay. This is, uh, again, far from what I would consider anything that is vaguely uh, production ready, but uh, it's definitely heading in a better position, I would say, in uh, the AI landscape. And uh, if you continue with uh, the next ones, uh, not going to create the ad interaction, but I'm going to have a look uh, as to what this implies, which is uh, basically a feature which is going to enable us to create a prototype with AI. So the way it works is you simply select the frames on the canvas you want to create interactions between, uh, open the prototype tab in the right uh, sidebar, and then click on the interaction section to make a prototype. So this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to test uh, in another video. And uh, overall, uh, let's also have a quick check at uh, another tool which uh, I saw over here, which uh, is going to be the remove background. I just want to have a quick check uh, and see how that uh, is working because previously I always used uh, this uh, plugin called the remove.io, but uh, now we can finally have it uh, native in Figma. So this is definitely working pretty well. And uh, also some other tools which are going to be interesting to keep uh, in mind is, uh, or actually I'm going to check the ch make changes. So again, guys, I haven't prepared before this video. I'm just doing it on the spot. Uh, I'm just, I just want to see what, uh, <laughs> what comes up. 
And uh, okay, this is interesting. So I can even select all of this. I can make it lighter. I can uh, assume I can change the main color. Okay, so I can I can basically set up a theme altogether and uh, corner radius. Okay, this is going to be for the general corner corner radius spacing. Okay, so this is quite interesting, especially because all of this is auto layout. And uh, one of the things that I'm excited about uh, is the fact that uh, auto layout uh, works uh, really in uh, well with Framer. So there's going to be even more sync opportunities in the future of you create uh, designs fast in Figma, then you can import them to Framer so you can have uh, landing pages like that. So this is definitely very exciting. And uh, uh, yeah, overall, uh, I'm excited about seeing what's up next. I'm not going to go into the other uh, elements. It's, uh, I think that those are pretty straightforward. We've already seen them multiple times in all sorts of different AI apps. So definitely cool to have it in Figma, but for the sake of this demonstration, translating, rewriting, renaming layers, uh, that's uh, something that my personal opinion comes in second place. So super cool. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to see how this is going to evolve within the next months and years. And um, yeah, that's all for this video. If you want to learn more about UI UX design, feel free to check out the other videos on the channel or my courses on my website, and I'll see you in the next one.